Hello everyone, it's your favourite queen, Android18 here, aka Alexis, and today I've got a special treat for you guys. Well, for one I'm back making videos, which is nice. I apologise for not being around for a long time. Essentially, it's a lot of work-related stress and problems, and a lot of my like depression and stuff and anxiety, and... I don't really want to explain that here, but anyway, I'm back. I got a new phone recently, which is really good, and I can start doing gameplay videos now for my phone. So today we're going to be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Okay, so I'm just loading up the game. Duel Links. I've got the English audio on today, so let's get into this. I thought I'd just do a little talking and basically do the lottery on this game. It's essentially, you grind out a load of points, and then you spend it on the lottery. So, I thought I'd do this today, and let's just see what we pull. So, we got some gold from our daily campaign flip thing. You basically get a free thing every day, and you get all the rewards if you do it each day. So, it's just logging in. I'm playing as Bastion at the moment, because I pretty much maxed out loads of my characters, and... He's one of the ones that has a card that I want. It's one of the add-on cards, and it essentially lets you summon normal monsters easily. Sorry if I sound a little weird. I'm not used to doing gameplay and talking at the same time, so I'm just doing my best. Basically, if you're not if you don't play Duel Links, these little arrows give you free stuff. And the little pictures, there are duelists you can duel to get. XP and just to play. While this campaign's on, you also get like a free lottery thing every day. Oops, I accidentally clicked the um gate. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll have to explain Duel Links a bit more to some of you guys as we play. But you get missions you do to get rewards. That's the card flipper stuff we got, the gold. And at the moment it's a tag team tournament event. So you get a daily bonus of currency you spend to play in the game. I guess we can start by dueling Jane and Yusei. So most of you guys probably know how Yu-Gi-Oh works, but I'll teach you guys if you don't know. These are two of the main characters from two of the animes. They're cool. I always do the hardest difficulty because you get more stuff. Plus it's more of a challenge. I'm not a Duel Links pro, but I've been dueling since I was like three, so... I know how the game works. I hope you guys like these gameplay videos. There's a cute Karibo Stadium for this event, which is really cool. Witness the bond with my cards. I love the voice acting in Duel Links, it's so cool. You claim to be the number one duelist in Duel Academy. I like all the dialogue. Like a whole new deck specifically to oh no. Your elemental I'm playing as that dude. I made my own deck though, don't worry. Okay, cool. I haven't got the best hand, because I have no monsters. But we'll see how this goes. Essentially in Yu-Gi-Oh, there's three main card types. Spells, traps, and monsters. Spell and traps help you do useful effects that keep you in the game, and can do a lot of things. But basically, most of the ones I've got here are defensive. The objective of Yu-Gi-Oh! is to lower your opponent's life points to zero, for the most part. That's how you win the game. And you use spell and traps and monsters to do that, essentially. Brave Neos is really strong, and I'm also partnered with the same character, um, Judai Yuki, or Jaden. And he has really strong fusion monsters. Join me. I summon a monster. I activate so it's kind of interesting. I don't really know what to say. I guess I can talk about the channel. I want to do reaction videos again like I used to. But I think doing more gameplay videos is a little better for my channel because I don't get sniped by YouTube's avenue, avenue revenue thing. But yeah, I'll keep playing. This card stops me taking damage from one attack and lets me draw a card. So I drew a monster that time. Stark Resonator. So I took some damage there. My turn. I draw. Join me. So the AI plays my tag team partner, but he's a broken AI, so he always opens up really good stuff, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Jaden's really cool. 
this is like the first time season four Jaden's been English properly, apart from the Bonds Beyond Time movie. So it's awesome to have this Jaden in it. I might just do auto duel, which basically does it itself. It's not as good as doing it yourself, but I just wanted to show you off some gameplay. But yeah, I'm going to do the lottery and see what I pull in this game. And I'll do some online duels from now on. And oh, it's Neos' summoning animation. You'll like this, guys. It's really cool. I'll shut up so you can hear it. That's so cool. That's Jaden's ace monster. And yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, essentially I want to do some, obviously, Android 18 and Misere videos. But yeah, I'll get to that eventually. But I can do some Dragon Ball mobile games too, like Dokkan Battle and Legends. I prefer Legends over Dokkan Battle because I find it a lot more fun. But Dokkan's pretty cool. I like summoning in Dokkan. I just save up my dragon stones and just spend them all on waifus. Or Jaden's given the sass. I activate a quick play spell. I'm actually not sure why they're still doing dialogue. Because they should skip it. But yeah, essentially in this game when you beat or lose to a duelist, you get XP. As long as your character's not max level. And each time you level up, you get rewards. I'm guessing most of you guys know how Yu-Gi-Oh works, so I don't know if explaining it is a little, you know, redundant. But I'm sure there's a couple of you who don't know how it works. Every card does something different, and there are some monsters like Force Raider here, the 1900 attack one, which have no effect at all. Neos doesn't either, but it doesn't mean they're useless. So we beat Jaden, and he screamed in pain, which is lovely, I guess. It's like he broke his arm, like he did Vegeta's. <laughs> I'm not even in character right now, I just like saying that. But yeah, each time you do a tag team, you get these coins, which can be used for lottery. So I'm going to do the lottery now, and I have a lot to go through. So yeah, let's get into this. So we have one free like lottery thing. And each time you open up, you get these keys, which can be used to fight duelists. Tokens, which can be exchanged for cards. Gold, which you can exchange for cards and upgrade their rarities. And you also pull like cards as well. I don't know if you guys will like it, but I really like this game. Basically, if it doesn't do anything special animations, you get loads of commons. So I'm just going to keep going through it, but if you're really lucky, you can pull some rare and prismatic rares, which look really nice. And they're hard to get hold of. The more you grind, the more you can try and get them. So I got an ultra rare token there, which can be exchanged for more valuable cards. I'll let you know when there's going to be a good pull. These rare tokens can be exchanged for cards too. But yeah, how are you guys doing? I, I thought I'd ask. Just write in the comments. So we've got a special animation there. And the ones with, a, with like a highlight on them, like the yellow and the rainbow, mean we got something good. So that's always nice. So we got the ultra rare illusion, illusory snatcher. That's a really cool tribute monster. I've got six of it, but you still get you can still exchange extra versions of the cards for tokens. And basically, as long as you have three of every card, because you can only want a maximum of three in each deck, um, you don't need any more. Sorry, I was just having a drink there, but. Yeah, if you enjoy these gameplays, I'm obviously really bad at them right now because I'm not used to do talking and stuff while playing games. But if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, share it with friends, let them know I'm back. And give me some suggestions of what you want me to do on Duel Links or just other games in general. But yeah, if you want me to do any deck ideas, I'll do my best to like make them. And I can just mess around on here. I could also teach you guys how to play if you'd like that, so you kind of enjoy these videos more. And um, maybe I'll duel some of you guys sometime. That would be really fun. But anyway, let's keep opening these cards now. Oh, we got another cool hit by the looks of it. We got another good card. It is the Super Rare Splendid Venus. That's a really cool card, actually. I like it. I'm really banking on getting the Prismatic Rares. Because I've got pretty much all the stuff in the set already. But everything's really good because I can exchange it for extra stuff. 
That's a cute card. I like the artwork of that one. It's like creepy but cute at the same time. Wow, we're getting really lucky with these sparking pulls. You see what I did there? Oh, this actually, I need, now I pulled this, I need one more of this one. It's Ally of Justice Core Destroyer. You got one of these guaranteed by playing through the event. And you can essentially pull extra versions of it or extra copies of it from the lottery. So that's, this is the main card I want to get one more of. I think I've got everything else at three or more. So that's cool. But yeah, this game's super fun. There is quite a bit of grinding in it, but I like grinding kind of games like RPGs and stuff, so it doesn't bother me. Okay, so this is another Illusory Snatcher. That's a decent pull. Yeah, please suggest what you want me to do in the comments. I just really want to apologize for being away for so long as well, because I should have really made a video explaining what was going on, but I was, well, I'm still struggling, but sometimes my depression makes it me a bit bad and I don't open up and I don't tell anyone what's going on so I apologize for that oh we got a new card it's obsidian dragon I've already got three of it but it's pretty cute in its weird way and I'll just read what it does negate the effects of spell and trap gods that target only one face-up dark monster you control and destroy them that's actually a pretty good effect considering he's a dark type himself it's a way to protect your monsters from being like affected by your opponent's cards so that's actually a pretty good pull. It's definitely a good um, card if you want a defensive card in your deck. For sure. If it's a dark deck. Okay, so we'll just keep on opening these. I hope you guys like these kind of different kinds of summonings, I guess. This is a, literally a um, lottery. So hopefully we pull something good by the end of the video. I don't know how long these parts will be. It's probably going to be about 20 minutes, this video. So we'll just see how it goes. I've got one prismatic version of this card that I pulled in the last tag team event. Oh. Hey, I'm back. I got a message from someone. I'm probably just going to edit that out. But yeah, I've got a prismatic of that missing force card. Okay, so illusory snatcher. We got another one of those. I'm just gonna keep on opening these because it's gonna take a while to get through all my currency. I really don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> this is kind of awkward, but I hope you guys are liking this. I do like spellcasters in Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'll probably make some spellcaster decks and mess around with them. I've got a Dark Magician Girl deck on here. And I'll probably make a video with that deck first against people online. So we'll just see how that goes. I'm a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, you know, I do like making Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. So I'd like to make this a series if possible, if you guys like it. So we got the super rare Pyrotech Mech Shiryu. That's interesting. I think he's new to this event in this game. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links has a completely different card pool than in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the same cards in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! But they have been released at different times. And this game's got a completely different playstyle to like current Yu-Gi-Oh! In the TCG, which is basically the physical card game. But yeah, let me know what your favourite Yu-Gi-Oh! monster is if you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Or watch, have watched the shows. I like a lot of monsters. Oh yay, we got the third Ally of Justice Core Destroyer. So we got a playset now. That's really awesome. We can also pull gems to buy packs in this game. And I've nearly maxed out my gems. So I'll make a video opening packs as well. The packs are really fun. It's a little more interesting than the lottery because there's fun animations. I do like the like sparking animation when you pull something good from the lottery though. It looks cool. We're really blazing through these, like, I guess these are kind of packs. I think there's a synchro in this set, which you got one of by playing through the campaign. The synchros are the um, white card here that I'm pointing at with the little sparkly animation. 
I forgot, yeah. I probably want two more of that one, but I don't know if I will get two. But yeah, this is definitely interesting. I'm enjoying this video. I'm a little nervous because I don't really do this, but it's a good nervous. I'm happy to finally make some gameplay for you guys. I probably could have picked a better thing to start with, but I saw all my currency and thought I should probably do this for a little bit of fun. I was going to open it anyway, so why not? And it was a good way to come back to the channel and give you guys a chill video and just let you guys know I'm not dead. <laughs> Sorry. That was a bit dark, but you know, it's true. Never wanted the little cutie evil swarm. Obliverwisp. I wouldn't mind a prismatic Obliverwisp. The prismatic rares are this really hard to get, really pretty rare. If I don't pull one, I'll show you what they look like. If you play online, you can get these special like tokens, or if you just play the game, you eventually get these special tokens you can exchange for a free prismatic rare out of a certain set of cards. And I've got nearly a full deck of at least one of prismatic for every one of the cards that's available. And it looks really cool. They're called the Amazonas monsters, based off the Amazonians. They're really cool though. The way they play is really fun. I'll show you them off in a minute. Oh, we got two cool cards here. So we got an Illusory Snatcher. And oh, we got the Synchro Monster, Red Rising Dragon. This monster um, is played from the extra deck. And you make a Synchro Monster with monsters in your main deck. So you kind of bring them together to make a stronger monster. And this is one of them. I just realized I've got four of this now. So I did have enough of them. Which is good. I must have pulled some before when I was doing the lottery and just forgot. I hope my Yu-Gi-Oh talk isn't making you guys bored or anything. I love the artwork in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's so good. It really sucks me into like the the world of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like this is an old card. It's really creepy. And the yellow normal monsters, also nicknamed vanilla monsters, they always have they're typing. Every like monster card has a type, so it's a warrior type. And the normal monsters, instead of having effects, they have flavor text, which explains what they do. So this one says, this fate. Sorry, I can't talk today. This. I'm just kind of stuttering a lot, sorry. This one says, this warrior's fatal dance is performed with a lethal sickle. So that lets you know what he does when he destroys a monster. It's pretty cool. Yes, guys, I do have blue eyes and dark magician. They're easy to get in this game. I could make a deck for them, though, which would be really cool. I've kind of made a dark magician deck, but it was really old, so I need to update it. So we got another ultra rare token. That's good. It'd be really cool if I could pull a prismatic rare near the end, just um, to show you guys what they look like. I'm sure I can show off my card collection to you guys at some point. That'd be a fun video, because I probably have a lot of things I forgot I, I have. We'll just look at all like the super rares and ultra rares and the prismatics, which are the rare ones in this game. Yeah, I'm just going to keep on hammering away, because we're nearly done with the lottery now. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now, and I'm not stuttering anymore. I'm getting into this. So yeah, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the bell for more videos from me. Hit the bell. Subscribe, then hit the bell, because then you get notifications for whenever I upload. That's what I meant to say. So I'm just going to keep this going. Come on, sparking. I want it to spark so I can get something nice. It's nice to record a video again though. It's different to what I'm used to, but it's really fun because I can start making gameplay videos for you guys, which you've all been dying to ha see by the sounds of it. So it makes me happy. We're coming up to 20 minutes on the video now, so that's pretty cool. I think we're getting pretty unlucky with this, if I'm being honest. Oops, 
Sorry. I'm in a group chat. Okay, we got another card. It's um, Missing Force. Like, all the cards are cool. It's just you want to pull the cool looking ones with like, the prismatic. Because that's part of the lottery. And it, you can only get them in the lotteries. Most of the time, anyway. This certainly is a cool little part of the game, though. Which, it comes and goes, so it's a bit more exciting when it's around. Wow, my odds are really bad at the moment. I normally get a lot more sparking. They must have lowered the odds in this event. Oops. Why am I apologising for people messaging me? Okay, it's the last summon. Let's see what we get. Sadly, we didn't get anything spectacular. However, I'm just going to essentially show you what a prismatic card looks like because it didn't let me. Okay, my friends are just gonna keep messaging. I should probably disable my notifications when I record. That would be helpful. But I don't care that much. So that's what a prismatic rare looks like. It looks really cool. And this is Amazonist Swordswoman. So that's really cool. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up now because I want this to be quite quick and it ended up being a lot like longer than I thought it would be. Ah! Oops. WhatsApp's being a pain. I unlocked a playmat, which is cool. Yeah, my friend just said, oh, nice. They're not watching this. That was just coincidence. But I'm going to stop recording now. My gameplay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my first part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Sorry for the kind of unprofessional recording. It's my first time recording. But I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, because it really helps me make my videos and stuff and it motivates me to keep making them i apologize for being away yet again and yeah i'll probably make an update video just kind of explaining what was going on i might do probably not <laughs> i don't know but yeah we'll just have to see i will probably explain what was going on it's mostly honestly just my depression stress and a lack of free time